I am sick and tired. Oh, not of anything in particular, I'm just literally sick and tired. So let's make something nice and easy with some pre-made bread dough. Hi everyone, it's Tash and welcome to another recipe video. And I am struggling through a pretty heavy cold at the moment. I really miss being able to, you know, breathe out of my nostrils. Double whammy that it's also hay fever season. So today we're going to make some sweet pistachio rolls and cheat using pre-made bread dough. I was lucky enough to find some frozen brioche dough in my local Marks and Spencers. That was an oddly specifically middle class thing to say. And you can use any frozen pre-made bread dough for this recipe. But if you can find brioche bread dough then that is even better because brioche is enriched with butter and it's even more delicious. But yes, any will do. Feel free to uh, make it from scratch if you are in better health and with more patience than I at the moment. But we're cheating today. And what a lovely day to cheat it is too. The sun is shining, sort of, with a bit of rain. And it's a nice day to chill out with some easy to make sweet buns. So having said all that, let's go to the kitchen and see how it's done. The first thing I've done is I've greased a 15 by 25 centimetre loaf tin. So this is slightly bigger than your average loaf tin, just slightly, with a load of vegetable oil. I'm going to set this aside. And I'm going to very lightly sprinkle my work surface with some plain flour. And I have some ready-made brioche dough that I found at my local Marks Spencers. It comes in a box of, well, it says 440 grams, I weighed it, actually it's 450, but anything around that sort of weight will do for bread, but preferably you want brioche dough. And it came in a box of two, so I'm going to mush these together. Sprinkle on a little more flour. And I'm going to roll this out into a roughly 30 centimeter by 30 centimeter square-ish. Now, I have some sweetened pistachio cream. This one I just bought off the internet. And I'm going to, uh, let's see how many tablespoons we need. Let's start with, let's start with three heaped tablespoonfuls. Maybe just leave a little bit of free edge right in the end. I'm just going to brush that end bit with the tiniest bit of water so it'll stick a bit better in a minute when we roll it up. And now, you guessed it, we're going to roll it up. There we go, just making that the seam is at the bottom. Now I'm going to mark, so this is going to make six pieces. So here you half first. And then three on each side. And now we've got some dental floss, and this is unflavoured by the way because you do not want minty rolls. Well, if you do, then that's your prerogative, but I don't want minty rolls today. And we are going to slide it underneath using our marks as a guide. We're going to cross it over and pull. Oops. And you've got a little roll. Let's do this again and again. Nice, not perfect, but they will do. Now we're going to arrange them in our pan. So let's see, let's put the biggest ones in the middle. And now what I've done is I've just covered it in cling film and we're going to leave it somewhere warm until it's doubled in size. So about an hour or two, three if you have a cold room. It's just been an hour and my buns are wonderfully puffed up. So let's get round to the next stage. Let's preheat our oven to 180 degrees C and then wait for it to warm up. While the oven's preheating, we're going to make a simple egg glaze with one egg and a splash of milk. And I'm going to just whip those up. So now we're going to glaze our lovely buns. Let's get rid of the wrap. And we're going to lightly brush our egg wash over the top. And now we're going to bake this for about 20 minutes. While we're waiting for our buns to bake, we're going to make a simple glaze. So here I've got a tablespoonful more of that pistachio cream. I'm going to thin it out a bit with about three tablespoonfuls of milk. And 
And while I do that, I'm going to bit by bit add 50 grams of icing sugar to it as well. Just gradually add it bit by bit. You know what? This is absolutely fine as a glaze, so I actually only added one tablespoonful of milk. Gosh, I'm doing well today, aren't I? So yep, that was one tablespoonful of milk, one tablespoonful of pistachio cream, and that was indeed 50 grams of icing sugar. Wow, don't these already look gorgeous? I'm going to let these cool for about 10 minutes and then while they're still a bit warm, I'm going to drizzle some glaze over them. And now after 10 minutes, while they're still a little bit warm, I'm going to drizzle over the pistachio glaze. Lovely. I almost forgot. I'm sick, okay? I have no brain. <laughs> so I've got 50 grams of chopped pistachios here. And before that icing sets, we're going to sprinkle all of this over. We're going to have our crunchies. And now we're going to let this cool down completely and set. Don't these just look beautiful? Look at that. I us just scoop it out of the tray in one piece. And you can see how fluffy the bread inside is. Absolutely wonderful. Would you look at that? Ooh, I need to do the slow-mo. And what a beautiful slow-mo tear it was too. Super soft and fluffy. Gotta admit, I'm running out of energy. It's still got quite a heavy cold, so I'm gonna take a bite right away. So, cheers. I did consider adding white chocolate chunks to the pistachio cream inside the rolls before rolling it up, but I think that would have actually been overkill. I think this is perfect. By all means, customise your rolls however you like, but I like these just the way they are. Alright, that's it from me. I am going to wrap this fuzzy blanket around me and I'm going to enjoy this with my cup of tea over there. But I set up partially as a prop and partially as a necessity and I hope you give this super easy recipe a go. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed today's recipe and I hope you'll join me next Wednesday for my next one. And I hope I'm less coldy by then. Get the full written recipe on my blog tashcakes.com, follow me on Instagram, I'm tashcakes.tastes. And find me on TikTok too. I'm also Tash Kicks there, but my actual handle is Food in Slowmotion. Subscribe and hit the notification bell if you'd like to see more. Give this video a like if you'd like to help other people find it. Comment down below if you'd like me to make anything in particular. And I'll see you guys next time. Be good, be nice, and have a good week. Oh, I've been holding on to a sneeze for about three hours now.